Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do another full moon reading. So, there's been so much confusion. Even the last two readings were confused. Confusion. That's the energy. People don't get it. Sometimes people will say, when I get anxious, or not anxious, when I get loud in my readings, that's the energy of the day. When I say something, if I yell, if I raise my voice, that's what's going to happen the next day. People don't get it. I had one woman say, sheesh, why are you going to get so aggravated? Because that's the energy of the day. But then again, there's a lot of people that are not awakened. When that's what a daily vibe is. Get it? A vibe. Okay, so my reactions are the vibe. You notice how I start my reading off as quiet. As I get into the energy, my energy shifts. My tone shifts as into the vibe of the reading, the vibe of the day. That's, that's part of the reading. The tone changes with the energy. Okay, but people, some people don't get it. Most people do, but we got people at all different levels of their spirituality. So some people don't. Anyhow, there's a lot of confusion right now. A lot of confusion as to um, where we're going, where we are right now, wh where will we be? That kind of energy. Illusion. is where we're at. We need to focus on what is real. What we can touch, what we can see. We are in Taurus season. Taurus season is tangible. It's about reality. It's about what we can touch, what we can feel. It's about our senses. It's time to come back to reality. So I believe a reality check is coming. Scorpio is water. Water is very fluid, very much likes to live in illusion. What you see is not what you get. No offense to any water signs. But if you look at the ocean, you can't see what's underneath the surface. Not very well. You're at the river. The water's flowing. It's really hard to see what's going on down there. A pond. A lake. Any body of water. You really can't see unless you look really, really hard you need to look a little bit deeper than the surface because there's a lot of illusion there's a lot of things that you are not seeing and that is what this is about if you want to come out of confusion Dive deep and open your eyes and take a good look at what is below the surface. Because there's a lot going on down there that you're not seeing or you're refusing not to see because the surface looks good. It's pretty. This is the time, at looking deeper.
So we're going to do a little bit different this time. I'm going to use a bunch of decks and I'm going to see what comes up. Hopefully we can clear up some of the confusion and we can get a clearer message because that's exactly what we need. We need clarity. I'm going to dig deep. But I know it's not going to be easy. Because I'm going to have to observe and use my intuition and really be honest with myself and not worry about who disagrees with me. Because of their illusions, I have to be authentic even if people don't like me. Even if I do it, destroy their illusions. Autumn. Something to do with autumn. Anywhere between... What is it? It's autumn. September, October, November. Something may have happened in the fall or the autumn. This I always start out with the past. So it's probably a previous autumn. Something about, you know, harvest time. They really miss you a lot. Somebody's hiding something. Stiff competition. There is some sort of stiff competition going on. Somebody is really, really, really missed. Something happened in the fall. I should just wrote fall on this card because I always call it fall. There is some sort of stiff competition going on, and somebody is missed. They are missed quite a bit. A message is coming that you don't want to hear. I believe I've already delivered that message earlier today. Um, but another one is coming. That is right around the corner. A message is coming that somebody does not want to hear. sense considering we are doing this during a full moon this card well if you were to look this card up in a book you know I don't like the books I don't like books <laughs> illusion is probably in the, the first you know five words maybe first paragraph anyway illusion fantasy deception shadow all is not as it seems. You need to look deeper. There is illusion here. There is fantasy. We have an unclear and difficult path ahead. There are unseen problems. There's liars. There's haters. There's disguises. Your intuition is telling you something. Somebody is ignoring their intuition. The moon is ruled by the shadow. I can make a duck on the wall with my fingers. It's actually my fingers. It's not a duck. The shadow does that. All is not as it seems. There is something that is hidden. 
that is an illusion and there's a reality check that is needed could also be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer we have a stiff competitor here that is and this is all about feelings somebody is hiding their feelings There's some sort of hidden forces here as well. Light is going to be shed in some way. Somebody is, there could be some addictions that are getting in the way of truth being accepted or revealed. Somebody is hiding something. They miss you or they miss something, but they're hiding their feelings. Or something is being hidden in a very big way. We have somebody here that is highly intuitive, that knows it. I've, in all the readings that I did today, I had the High Priestess upright. The High Priestess is a highly intuitive individual who sits back and observes and reflects and listens, listens to her gut, studies spirituality, teaches spirituality, Somebody that has a, a divine connection and is developing their connection. So we do have a high priestess here that is very intuitive and knows that something isn't up or is up. Knows that something is up and knows that something is coming and knows that something is below the surface and is just waiting for it to happen. This is an individual that is very observant. Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. So, obviously, there is some sort of uh, knowledge or acknowledgement, <laughs> sorry, acknowledgement from up above. There's a higher power involved here. And I already saw that in one of my readings. Hidden forces. There is. There's a higher power involved. There's some hidden forces here. Somebody's progress is being acknowledged from up above. There's going to be a reward in the fall you may not see it coming but whatever whatever this contribution is that is being made somebody's making a contribution to the world through thoughts feelings and actions of love whoever is probably this high priestess I just talked about there will be this is harvest like cornucopia there is some sort of reward that is coming for this intuitive individual in the fall. This person is acting in love and a reward is coming. So I don't know who that is for. There is some sort of stiff competition here. I feel like, because you notice this competition, we got, okay, we got this side and this side. If you would take a look at the cards, on this side, we got somebody that here that is going to receive a message that they don't want to hear. Over on this side, we got some sort of recognition and a reward that is coming in the fall. Right now, it's below the surface, but it's coming. So that's interesting. Hmm. 
Let's get one of these. The competition is going to receive a message that they don't want to hear. Put it that way. The star. The star is a card of wish fulfillment, universal protection, divine guidance, uh, somebody from the other side. This is help arriving after the tower falls. There could be a tower moment that is coming. This is um, a fairy godmother uh, coming to the rescue or somebody is going to be pulled out of a desperate situation. They're going to be saved. This is saved in some way. It is. It's, this guy reminds me of Twin Towers. This is a disaster. This is help arriving. And, it's, and, and you think about the star. The star is universal help, okay? Universal guidance. Somebody's wish is going to be granted. Their prayers have been heard. I don't know if we have somebody here that is famous, that is receiving some sort of reward or receiving some sort of help or protection. Whenever I think of the star card, I think of protection. And this is hidden forces. There's some sort of hidden forces here that are prote that is protecting somebody. Maybe they're protecting somebody from an individual that is a liar. But there's illusion getting in the way. Maybe the illusion is that they really miss you a lot. That's probably the illusion. You got steady progress here. Perhaps, you, and if you think about the high priestess, the high priestess it focuses on her, her or his self. That is a loner. The high priestess is, goes within to uh, focus on themselves chooses to be alone, does not need another person. If you're that person out there that is seeking and begging for this other person to uh, come save you and you can't be alone, then you're not the high priestess. I'm just being honest with you. The high priestess is very spiritual, very self-sufficient, often chooses to be alone, is very in tune with themselves, in tune with their intuition, does not need another person's energy to survive. There is an illusion here. There is definitely an illusion. There is fantasy that is in the way of somebody receiving something. We have a new purpose here. The star card is a new purpose. It is a renewal. It is hope. It is healing. It's unexpected help arriving. It's faith. Renewed faith. Somebody may not see that help is arriving. Maybe it's arriving in the fall. 
after there's been some sort of deception. There has been deception. There has. That moon card would not be here. There is stiff competition. There is protection. There is help. There, it feels like we have an individual that was deceived. This person is going to be receiving a, re a reward for their hard work. The competition is going to be receiving a message that they do not want to hear. Now, what I said about the high priestess, she typically, or she or he typically chooses to be alone for a period of time. To reflect and re-identify and open up to their spirituality. That's not to say that the high priestess will always be alone. That is becoming spiritual or going through a spiritual download or stepping up a notch in spirituality. You know, taking a time out to um, develop psychic abilities. There is help arriving. I gotta show you what's on the bottom. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention. Not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. It's interesting. Everything that I've said is pretty much summed up in this card. The high priestess listens and observes. There's lies beneath the words. Pay attention to what you hear. Go within. Develop your abilities. This is a time to develop those abilities. It is. To remove yourself from the illusion. Listen to yourself. Look deep. What are the motives? What are people's motives? There's a lot of deception that is going on. And looking at the surface is not going to give you the truth. Let's get one of these. It's time to step outside of the illusion. That's what this is about. It's about coming back to reality, getting grounded, being practical, being real. And being honest with yourself. And not listening to the world. Listen to your gut. And it doesn't matter if people like you. And if it, you are worried about people liking you, then that's your ego. There it is. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. I'm going to read it. You do not need to suffer to grow. You can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates 
of your soul. Do what gives you joy. Celebrate and have fun. Stop and embrace life, yourself and others. Say yes. Take steps today to expand your joy. You don't need to do it all at once, but you do need to start. Your purpose in life is to experience joy. Allow joy and ecstasy to flow through you wildly and freely. Share your love. Happiness spreads to others like wildfire and can help heal the world. The sacred traveler knows that it's not just about reaching the destination, it's about the joy of the journey. The traveler stops periodically to savor the simple pleasures of the voyage. If you don't follow your bliss now, when will you? If you've been waiting until circumstances are different before you experience true happiness, you may have a long wait. Did it say something about dictators here? thought it did. If you've been waiting until circumstances are different before you experience true happiness, you may have a long wait. It's simple. When you focus on the areas of your life that bring you joy, these areas will prosper. One of the fastest paths to happiness is through sharing and giving. So give your heart and follow your bliss. Joy is your spiritual birthright. I just gotta read this again. Where where did where did dictator came come from? <laughs> oh. Anyhow, live now. Live for today. Do not let fear hold you back. Another meaning of the moon card is fear. Step into your happiness. Have faith. Believe. I'm talking about that star card now. Have confidence. Let go of your fears and have faith. Believe. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. Faith is on top of fear. Get out there and live today. Somebody's missing you. It may not be who you think it is. Open your heart. Good luck.